back to the Chan Chan a long time no see. Nice to be back. You all know I like taking a little breaky poo every now and then from social media and YouTube. So that's why I've been absent for the last like two weeks or so. Doing lots of hiking, camping, RVing, ATVing, boating, fishing. And um, it's just been really nice to kind of enjoy the summer um, here on the West Coast in Canada. So hope you're all doing well, swell and healthy since the last time I saw you guys. Hope your collections have engorged in size since I last talked to you guys. What's the, increased, increased. <laughs> engorged, was such a poor word choice. Thought I'd get back into the videos, do a little haul video, show you guys what I got within the last two weeks or so. Um, and we're gonna start off with my t-shirt. You all know I love nerdy t-shirts. I'm a nerd t-shirt connoisseur. It's the seventh voyage of Sinbad. And um, we got here the Cyclops, got the dragon. Where's the dragon? Where's that dragon? Oh yeah, right here. Love that dragon so much when the Cyclops and the dragon were fighting each other. Love Ray Harryhausen movies so much. And Seventh Voyage of Sinbad is a staple in my childhood. Used to watch it on VHS all the time. Obviously you do have to pay kind of a premium for these super random eBay shirts. You're at the mercy of the seller because where else are you gonna find this? You know, you're not gonna walk into a... Uh... Man, where do people buy their clothes? Like I haven't gone clothing shopping for a very, very long time. I don't know where people buy their clothing. Um, Walmart? Enough jibber jabber about eBay and these t-shirts. Let's look at some of the items that I have gotten recently. First up, oh, I hope I didn't, yeah, okay, I didn't. I won't do that again. I thought I like punctured the front. I got this Quint from Jaws figure by NECA and it's so cool looking. Not only is this packaging awesome, you know, with the Jaws here on the front and like this cool, all this cool coloring, um, but he looks so cool. I love his clothing, how it's like cloth. He comes with so many accessories. His head sculpt looks really nice too. He's He's even got his bandana. He's got his can that he can crush. And on the back here, it shows all these cool poses and scenes um, everywhere from, you know, like fighting Jaws himself to fishing for Jaws. So I pre-ordered this guy. I think it was from Clark Toys, if I'm not mistaken. That was like the only company that I saw that I saw still had some pre-orders left. Everywhere else was just all the pre-orders were done with. And I'm like, no, I really, really, really need this. So I searched and searched and I found that. So let me know in the comments down below if you're interested, you know, in me doing a review on this or if you're not, I'll just open it up. So next up, my broski surprised me with a few birthday presents um, for my birthday from June 30th. Um, and uh, he gave me also some Pokemon things, but they're downstairs. I forgot to bring them up. I'm not gonna go. He got me Lord Darkness from Legend and Lord Darkness is like my crush. <laughs> I don't know why Lily didn't stay with this guy. Like Jack was all like, nyan, nyan. flowers. He's like this little like worm thing. And then there's this guy. He's like, Ugh. whatever, teach their own. This is from McFarlane Toys from their movie Maniacs series. And I've been trying to get this guy for the longest time. Just, excuse me. He's always listed at like a hundred plus dollars Canadian usually. I'm gonna say three years ago, three years ago, someone was gonna sell me this for about $30 Canadian. And my deal fell through because I thought I was traveling through that part of town, but I wasn't. I was actually went a completely different route. So I'm like, oh, I could have got for $30. And ever since then, I'm like, I refuse to pay anything more than $30 because I almost got it for $30. So I just was so stubborn and I didn't want to, you know, pay the money for it. But, um, but thank you very, very much to my bro for getting this for me. I can't wait to put this in my collection. There's also a really cool um, Lord Darkness figure that I never knew existed. Existed. I mentioned it a few videos ago, but it's like this giant, giant Lord Darkness figure. And it's by, I think called Soda Toys, if I'm not mistaken. And um, again, it's part of like a movie series or something, a movie line of toys. And he also got me this super cute Land Before Time coin sorter two bank. Land Before Time, the first dinosaur mo movie I ever like fell in love with. It got me into dinosaurs. I love, love the Land Before Time. Um, so I thought the graphics on this box were super, super cute. And you know what I just noticed? Someone got screwed over. Petrie got screwed over. Well, my name Petrie. There's like a Sarah tube, um, a Littlefoot tube, a Spike tube, and a Ducky tube. But Pe there's no Petrie tube. You know what they should have done? They should have combined Spike and Ducky together because they're like, you know, kind of like brother and sister um, because they like Ducky's family adopted Spike. So then she should have been in there and then, Pe then Petrie should have got his own tube. <laughs> 
Ducky, ducky. Uh, uh. <laughs> that was a really bad Petri impression. <laughs> Next up from Toys R Us, I grabbed this Pteranodon Jurassic Park Amber Collection figure. And I particularly like this one a lot. It's based on the Jurassic Park 3 color scheme of the Pteranodons. And I, I, I especially like this one a lot because I think they did a really good job on the paint job on this guy. The job on the paint job. They did a really good work on the paint job on this, um, especially in that head region. I think they did a beautiful job with that. I love the pattern on there. So definitely had to pick this guy up. Ugh. So to finish off the Jurassic items from eBay, I grabbed a few Lost World Jurassic Park things. These two cups were from 1997. They're from a company called Equity Toys and they are official Jurassic Park merchandise. And um, I think I ended up paying like 25 or $30 for both of these two together. So there is a T-Rex and there is a Triceratops. I thought these had a really, really nice sculpt work and detail work on these. The paint job I think is phenomenal on these, particularly on that T-Rex. Um, and I just thought these were very unique. Uh, like who has who has cups like this? They're pretty awesome. There was a Parasaurolophus toothbrush holder from the Lost World Jurassic Park that I've been trying to get for the longest time. And it was on auction. And I set a reminder. I'm like, remind me to, you know, uh, look at my eBay at this time. And it reminded me like an hour after the uh, auction was over. I was like, no. So to whoever beat me on that auction, I will find you. Next up for about 25 to $30 US, I grabbed this Lost World Jurassic Park T-Rex Trank Gun. This did uh, originally come with like two Nerf kind of, you know, suction cup bullets load in here and it's kind of like spring action. So it's like this and it's like, also, there's a little light in here that I think glows red to kind of simulate like a red laser light target. Um, it also makes sounds, but unfortunately the screw is kind of on the strip side here. So I'm probably gonna have to, the next time I'm at my parents' house, I'll have to uns get my dad to unscrew this and maybe put some batteries in here. See if it works. <laughs> And speaking of parents, um, the last time I was at my parents' house, I grabbed two of my childhood games that I used to play um, growing up with my uh, siblings. Um, that was the original Pokemon Monopoly and Simpsons Clue. I am so good at Simpsons Clue. So it comes with Pikachu, Charmander, Clefairy, um, Bulbasaur, Blastoise, and Mewtwo. And here is the lovely, lovely board. Here are all the characters you could be um, for Simpsons Clue. There is Marge Simpson as Mrs. Peacock, Homer Simpson as Mr. Green, Krusty the Clown as Colonel Mustard, Waylon Smithers as Mrs. White, Bart Simpson as Professor Plum, and Lisa Simpson as Miss Scarlet. So definitely we'll have to have a game night shortly and do one of those. And then from Toys R Us, I also picked up this gold Skeletor. There is like a normal Skeletor and then there's a glow in the dark Skeletor. So I saw this one and I'm like, oh, I might as well get it. Um, so this one comes with He-Man and his uh, jet sled. And uh, this here is a funny story. So this probably happens to a lot of you um, that purchase things on eBay if you if you do a lot of buying on there. Um, so I purchased this mask, like I'm gonna say like close to two years ago and it just arrived yesterday. I was like, what the hell is this mask? I'm like, I don't remember getting this mask. But then I'm like, oh yeah, I ordered this like two years ago. Um, so for some reason, this mask found me. And about two years ago, I rewatched this movie because it was a long time since I watched the movie when it first came out. If you're looking for the guilty, you need only look into a mirror. When I rewatched it, I was like, oh, this character is so cool. I want to like do like a fun photo shoot. And I like want this mask. So I got this mask for like 86 cents or something on eBay. Okay, okay. You can get this for like three, four dollars now. It's like gone up in price. And I got two more items here. I grabbed myself another Lord of the Rings box set. You all know Lord of the Rings. The Amazon Prime series is coming out soon. And um, Lord of the Rings stuff is, I, I find, just getting harder and harder to find. Speaking of Lord of the Rings, before I forget, well, I don't know how to pronounce this. I think it's like Asmus or Asmus toys. I don't know. I'm not super familiar with them. But they are coming out with a Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, Balrog figure. And it looks really cool. And it comes with like his whip and everything. And I believe it's like, does it have any artic- I think it has limited articulation because they wanted to like keep it really detailed and like a cool pose and stuff. So I think it kind of has limited articulation. And it's 11 inches tall, made of plastic. And it's about $100 US. And I totally pre-ordered it um, because 
Balrog. So this is how big the Balrog is. So it's gonna be like this. Um, so if anyone's interested, I pre-ordered this already on Big Bad Toy Store. I will leave a link down below in my description if you're interested in um, checking out that Balrog. <laughs> it's 11 inches tall. It's limited articulation. Um, the idea behind the design is not to let their articulation destroy the aesthetic presentation of the perfect sculpture. Um, blah, 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 blah. Highly detailed, um, features translucent material for fire parts. It does look really detailed. So if there's anyone interested, I will leave a link down below. Um, to Big Bad Toy Store. So back to the Lord of the Rings. I grabbed this Lord of the Rings box set and I got this for $20 Canadian on a used site. I also had to pay for a little bit of shipping. So for like $35 to $40, I got this box set, which was pretty awesome. And it says exclusive Haldir action figure included. So it comes with Aragorn, King Theoden, Gimli, Legolas, and Haldir. If you are, you know, a lover of the Lord of the Rings franchise, these just make fantastic displays. Not only can you, you know, see all the characters, see all their weapons, some of them are in interesting poses, um, but they also have like a background. So in this one, it's like the Helm's Deep Castle, like keep background in there. So really cool. Be on the lookout for these box sets if you are, you know, a Lord of the Rings fan because they do have a lot of box sets. So the last thing that I have is actually from Zavi. Zavi sent me this and this was like on order like over a year ago, but it just showed up like I think a month or so ago. Um, and so I was not gonna do really a review on it because it wasn't the one that I was hoping to get. I was hoping to get one of those like giant big chat figures, um, one of the new ones. So this is just like a very small big chap figure. Very nice packaging. So this is a big chap ultimate edition by NECA. Love that. Love that alien egg there. And here is what's on the back. Ah, so there's our big chap. And not only do we get big chap himself, we also have an eggy. We have a face hugger and we have a little chest burster as well. So thank you to Zavi for sending this guy over and definitely will be opening him up and adding him to my predator slash alien collection. So that ladies and gents was my little modest haul. And in the comments down below, let me know what your favorite Aichiam was, you know? We had a little bit of everything, didn't we? We had like some Jaws, some Lord of the Rings, we had some uh, Jurassic Park, or Lost World Jurassic Park, we had some clothes, we had some games, we had a little bit of everything. Well, little taste of everything. And also let me know in the comments down below if you've scored any good deals lately. Did you pre-order anything lately? Is there anything cool coming out? You know, I, I did you guys a solid. I told you about that Balrog and you gotta do me a solid. Don't, don't make me use this, okay? Two other kind of cool things that I know that are coming out soon is the Jurassic Park Transformers mashup. And also there was a little hint that Storm Collectibles may be doing some Street Sharks figures, which is pretty interesting because Storm Collectibles, they like doing, you know, that kind of like rubber, that kind of like rubber upper body so it makes sense because the street sharks are kind of you know that rubber material so it'd be interesting to see kind of how they bring street sharks to this new age let me know if there's anything else interesting coming out because i'd love to know in the comments down below so please remember to like comment and subscribe i come out with new videos every week come check me out on social media and help support the channel on patreon so thank you all so much for watching and stay legendary